happen. Amen. You can't write them off just because you don't see it with your eyes or you don't see it in your lifetime. So six months went by, a year went by, people started dragging this dear precious man of God through the mud. He's a false prophet, nothing's happening. 22 years later it happened. Exactly the way he said it would happen. He said it would shift the earth. It did. He said it would shape the foundation of the entire globe. The earth rattled and literally moved its axis after this earthquake. Do you realize that? The earth right now is in this slow shifting of the magnetic poles. It literally caused an, a global wobble. The scientist said this, not me. He said, and he said it would shake the whole earth. It'd be historic. And then he said, after that, the great earthquake of the West Coast will take place. The one that will cause a complete reshaping of the West Coast. He said, but first, the one in Japan has to happen. They're so serious that Rick Joyner on his national show said back then, they would ask him 22 years ago, well, should we move, move out of California? He would say, not unless God tells you to. Now he's on his show telling the whole world, don't stay unless God tells you to. That's how serious he believes it. Amen. If you ignore this, you're willfully ignorant. God's trying to get millions of people saved. These are all, this is Jesus' words coming to pass right in front of your face. You are the generation, and He is at the door. Can I hear an amen? Amen. Next sign is, He said was what? Famine and pestilence. There's been more global famine, and the worst is yet to come. You're going to see very soon, church, listen to me out there, $5 for a loaf of bread. I said two years ago, gas was going to go above $5 a gallon. I know in my heart. Why? Because there's another prophecy that we're going to look at here in just a minute. And when it goes past $5 a gallon this time, it's not going to go back down. Man. This is all tied into the end time collapse. Some men are doing it on purpose, but they're doing it on purpose in fulfillment of God's prophetic warning. Somebody say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. These are pictures of famines that are taking place in our generation globally right now. These are all from different countries. I made it real small because I didn't want to make, make anybody with a weak stomach sick. But this is a Nobel Prize winning picture. A guy took a picture of one of, I think it was a Nobel or whatever they give to photographers. There's a little baby in Africa laying there starving to death, and this is a vulture waiting for him to take his last breath so he can eat it. When's the last time a child of God in America wept for people? These are by the millions. Look at this. This is a man in perfectly good shoes, carrying a bag of groceries, and in, in clothed in, in very nice clothing, naked, destitute, on his last breath, crawling through the streets, begging for one bite of food. And it's going to happen in America. And you know why? Because America has a week for these people. Amen. That's right. More of the Haiti earthquake. That's not trash. Those are bodies. This is the tsunami in Africa. You can see the wave literally wiping away a whole town. This is the front of the wave right here. This is Towns on fire, nuclear reactor on fire. Next thing, pestilence. What's it say? What's it say in the Amplified Victor, verse number seven, son? For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. In the, will, in the Amplified, son. It is. Okay, go ahead. And there will be famines and earthquakes in place after place. Place after place after place. Go on. All this is but the beginning, the early pains. Stop. All this is just the beginning. Just listen, when you hear the fancy preacher say it's going to get better, what did Jesus say? Do worse. Read it again. 
All this is but the beginning, the early pains. The early pains, birth pangs of a woman. Birth pangs don't go away. They get worse. Quicker and quicker, stronger and stronger. When you see the preacher stand on TV and say, it's going to be, get better. Just, just, just believe it's going to... You'll, you'll do fine. You will get through it. You're a child of the promise. You are protected by grace. But it's not going to get better. It's going to get worse. Man. Hallelujah. Famine and pestilence. Pestilence is tied to the animals. Diseases that crop up out of animals. The scientists think that there's a great increase of pestilence because there's been a global mysterious death of all types of what, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, species of animals. Bird flu. Swine flu. Those are pestilences. Sicknesses that come from animals. They're expecting because of global famine when the people are dying off the, the animals have died off. And they're expecting a great big wave of pestilence to begin to sweep the globe because of famine. And famine's going to get worse. And people that have never experienced hunger are going to experience hunger. And people that never thought they would will be riding bicycles to work, bicycles to church, because even the trains, trolleys, and buses won't have gas to ride. Listen to what I'm saying. It's going to be all right. You'll get through if you endure to the end. But globally, prophetically, this world's in desperate, dark, final death throes and birth pangs. And the only thing that's going to stop it is the rapture of the church and the second coming of Christ. Man. Here's what's happening. Each one of these blue dots here represent were unknown. Now they're trying to wag the dog and, and I'll give you some of the really goofy explanations. But the truth of the matter is they have no idea why this is happening. I'm 57, almost 58 years old. I've never seen this before and I read and I watch news. How old are you, Brother Ron? 64. 64. Have you ever seen this stuff happen before? No. So when they say, well, it's happened before, and it's not uncommon. Just remember in your mind, they're lying. Because I watch news, I'm very informed, and I read. It's never happened in my lifetime. Has it happened in yours, brother? No. Nope. And this is a this is a retired law enforcement officer that's no fool. He hasn't lived in La La Land, and neither have I. This has not happened before. They're wagging the dog. These are all the different places in the U.S. where this phenomenon is taking place. Europe, South America, and some of the islands. So it's already global. I said it's already global. Man. Just because you haven't heard about it, that's part of the design. That's part of the deception. Man. So that when you do hear about it, it's too late. You didn't have time to prepare. You didn't stay informed. You weren't sensitive in the spirit. So when it comes on you, it comes on you how? Like a pain of pregnancy. Ah! You're not going to be prepared in a long take you. Man, man, come on. Massive on, on this map. That's not, it looks like a gravel road. Those are dead fish by the tons. That's an entire river filled with dead fish that's going to turn to pestilence. That's in Arkansas. That's not sandy beaches. That's Tons of dead fish in Louisiana. They have no idea what's killing them. They say, well, it's the change in the uh, tides. Tides have changed all my life, haven't they, years? Unless they're prophetic end time, tidal changes. They say it's a change of global temperature. Temperatures fluctuated a little bit in my 57 years, unless it's end time global temperature change. This has never happened in my lifetime, his or anybody else's. Don't listen to the lies. These are prophecies happening right. Famines and pestilence is happening right in front of your eyes. 
globally, globally, globally. It's not a sandy beach, it's tons. These are dead turtles. It's not happening to one species, it's happening to all kinds of different animals. These are dead turtles washing up all over the coast. Now, these are birds that fell out of the air by the tens of thousands in Arkansas. Oh, they said, well, we had fireworks set off and it scared them and they all ran into each other and died. How many Fourth of Julys have you ever been to? 57 years worth of them. I've never seen birds commit suicide because of a shooting rocket. It's amazing how you can wag the dog to keep people stupid. Amen. And it's all straight from hell. He wants you to see. That's right. Amen. These are more fish. Oh no, these are tens of thousands, tons of crabs in England. This isn't just happening here. Tons of crabs just crawled up on the beaches and died. These are entire uh, streams of salmon. I forgot what country that is. I think it's Canada. Tons and tons and tons of salmon just died. Fish, different kinds of fish, different kinds of birds, crabs, salmon, entire, look, church, entire pods. That's an entire colony of whales. Not one or two or three like in the past. The entire colony swept to the beach and died. Or washed up on the beach dead is what, what it actually was. I think this was in Wales, as a matter of fact. All kinds of species all over the world. And they're telling people this happened before. No, it's not. At the same time, history shaking earthquakes, tsunamis, history shaking deception. This guy. His logo, his false prophet, you're going to see a lot of and you better pay attention. And his expertise is famine and economics. So the next thing it says here is what? And I'll just say, thank you, Lord. Look over here at Luke chapter 21 with me. Luke chapter 21, and then we'll wrap up with that and one other scripture. If I can help me not lie. Thank you, Jesus. Luke chapter 21, I'd like for you to look with me at verse 11. This is the Gospel of Luke accounting the same teaching of Jesus. And Jesus, let's back up to verse 10. Then he said unto them, Nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and great earthquakes shall be in various places, famines, pestilences, watch, fearful sights and great signs shall be from heaven. Fearful sights and great signs shall be from heaven. So one of the prophetic signs, which never has happened before, is these weird manifestation in the heavenlies. This is what they call the Norway spiral. Have you ever seen anything like that in your life? This isn't the aurora borealis. We've seen that, just the kind of colored clouds that go through Alaskan parts of the uh, Norway and Finland area. In Canada, you can see the aurora borealis. It's just kind of like these weird colors in the air, in the clouds. We're used to that. That's not an aurora borealis. That's a sign and wonder. So much of a sign and wonder. He jumped on it, took pictures of his own, and proclaimed this is the star of Maitreya. But it is a sign and wonder. It's never happened before. They claim to know what it is. Like, uh, you know, there are other theories. It's swamp gas from some sewer site. And all this other stuff. They don't know why it came and they don't know why it left. It's 
called the Norway Spiral, a sign and wonder in the sky. Well, that's unusual. It's very unusual. This right here is this. It says uh, China's two moons or two suns. It's not reflection off of the other sun. It's so obviously separated from different angles. All of a sudden, China just had two suns in the sky. Do you understand how supernatural that is? These are newsreel pictures. These aren't fake farmer Chang in his backyard pictures. I sent this to you, didn't I, Brother Tony? Did you see it? Did you see the newscaster? This is on Chinese national news. Live. Thank you. So this is not make-believe, hocus-pocus. This is a sign and wonder in the sky that all of China was talking about. And somehow, you just didn't hear about it in America. Why? Because Antichrist doesn't want America to wake up until the birth pangs are so quick and sudden there's no time to recover. In living color, Every prophecy that Jesus said, this is when I'm at the door, is right here in front of your eyes. And none of this have I seen before. This has all happened, began to happen in the latter part of my life, all at the same time. We are in the last days. His signs are being fulfilled to the T. False Christ, false prophets, false teachers. And then I'm going to wrap up with this one scripture. Revelations. And I'd like everybody to turn there and read with me if you don't mind so you can see with your own eyes. <clears throat> Revelations chapter 18. 